Okay, so hello everyone, in this video I just wanted to share with you my homemade water pump. Well, as you can see, this is actually not homemade. Obviously, I bought the pump as well as the engine, but I just made the flat platform. This is a 3-inch water pump, okay? Here's the specification. Intake 3 inches, output 3 inches, max capacity 700 liters per minute, 36 meters max head, uh, 6.5 horsepower, 3 1400 rpm so this pump actually requires at least 6.5 horsepower to run it but this engine is a diesel engine air cooled is actually 18 horsepower now if you ask the question why i opted for a much bigger engine because i generally needed a water pump as well as a generator so i figured instead of buying a separate water pump as well as a separate generator i might as well make a two-in-one machine you know one engine with a water pump as well as a maybe here or somewhere a generator but as of the moment i still cannot afford a generator and i already need the water pump so hence i already made this so i intend to buy a at least a 7.5 uh, kv generator or maybe 10 kv that's why i opted for a much more bigger engine so maybe in time i will be able to do that a two-in-one machine one with a water pump as well as a generator okay so this is actually brand new this is just brand new old stock unfortunately it did not come with an air filter it's actually loud without an air filter it also doesn't have a starter motor i already uh, bought one it's, it's on its way so i still haven't used this yet i'm not i mean the, the engine i know it's running but i still haven't used the pump so Let's try and see if it works, okay? So I already installed the corrugated hose. This is our present setup, okay? This, I believe, is a 100 liter or one, 110, something like that, liter pail. And let's see. So I'm going to wait for this to fill up some more. And from what I know is we need to prime the pump. So we need to fill this up with water. Let's do that now. One more. Other one. Okay, it start started to come out of here. So let's put the cover back on. So from what I know is as soon as we start the engine, they say it's going to take somewhere between 30 seconds or two minutes in order for the pump to start sucking the water. Okay, let's see, let's try. I'm going to start the engine. I do believe we lost the prime the I mean you know it went up to here so that's why it stopped sucking in the water but anyway as you can see it worked let's try that again gonna start the engine
so uh, it took a while for the pump to actually be primed or the pump starting to suck the water but when it began to start do that it just took seconds i do believe i don't know maybe three five seconds to suck that out so a hundred liter uh, pail so it's working and i do believe one of the problem is you see this one this is loose this is tight although they are the same size belt but this is actually already actually already used this from my air compressor which i made which is from this video if you want to check that one out so this is used and this is new so that's why it's wobbly and another reason i do believe why it took a while is that i have this engine running at only 3000 rpm and it says here it requires at least 3400 rpm so i'm going to increase the idle next time but the way it sits now as you can see uh, it worked so i'm quite satisfied with that i'm quite happy so i did some more testing off screen and i added this blue okay this is a blue hose collapsible hose which i just cut out of here this is supposed to go on here okay you can install collapsible hose on the outlet side but you need a corrugated hose on the uh, inlet side okay because this would collapse uh, you won't be able to suck in water or draw in water if you install this here and this more expensive i cut a piece of this and install it here and it allowed for a much more better seal i tried it off screen and within i would say 30 40 seconds it started drawing the water because uh, there's no more leak and within 30 40 seconds like i've said it started drawing that water so that's it and before i end this video i just want to share this video okay you see this is the tensioner so that i could adjust the the tension of the belt i've got two so that i can adjust it this way or that way because the more you have this pulley aligned with this pulley the less vibration you're going to have the more disaligned it is it's going to vibrate more so with this as you can see it's quite off offset in order for me to achieve that alignment with the with this pulley with the pulley on the engine and this you see this one i can undo this nut so that whenever i'm going to use this on location that is that's got uneven uh surface okay i can adjust it accordingly and i also have wheels there because this is actually quite heavy okay let me show you so with this setup whenever i'm going to need to use this it's only going to require at least one person to move it okay because that engine is actually very heavy so anyway i do believe that's it i just wanted to share this with you Maybe I'm going to do an update video when the air filter is going to arrive. We're going to test the difference as to loudness without an air filter and with an air filter. And like I've said in the beginning of this video, I already ordered a starter for this because doing this by hand with the with this rope, okay, it's actually very difficult. Well, not actually very difficult, but... Uh, it's going to require force and also quite a bit of technique in order to do that okay so i already ordered a starter as well as a cog gear for the flywheel okay because this did not come with it okay so it's uh, much cheaper i paid for sixteen thousand five hundred pesos for this for this alone okay uh, as is oh, that's roughly about three hundred dollars this i paid for maybe three thousand pesos more or less i would say that's about 50 or 60 dollars and this steel is just extra material from when i was making this gate last year so anyway that's it uh, i just wanted to share this with you this is what i've been up to so thank you for watching